वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑफ सिमुलेशन ऑफ आई सी ट्रिपल फाइव मोनोस्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू सिम्युलेट द आई सी ट्रिपल फाइव मोनोस्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर सो बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग लेट मी आस्क यू वन क्वेश्चन वॉट आर द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ आई सी ट्रिपल फाइव यू मे पॉज द वीडियो थिंक अबाउट द क्वेश्चन राइट डाउन यूर आंसर इन यूर नोटबुक इन ऑर्डर टू सी द आंसर यू कैन रिज्यूम द वीडियो now let me give you the answer the ic triple five can be utilized as a stable multi vibrator it can be used as a voltage frequency converter it is also used as a pulse synchronization so let us see the ic triple five mono stable multi vibrator figure shows the circuit diagram of the ic triple five timer as a mono stable multi vibrator the trigger input is given to the pin number 2 in the quiescent condition of the output this input is kept at plus vcc to obtain the transition of output from the stable state to the quasi stable state a negative going pulse of the narrower width and the amplitude which is greater than plus 2 by 3 vcc is applied to the pin number 2 the output is taken from the pin number 3 the pin number 4 is generally connected to the plus vcc to avoid the accidental reset the pin 5 is grounded through the point not 1 microfarad capacitor to avoid the noise problem the pin number 6 which is a threshold is connected to the pin number 7 the resistor ra is connected in between the pin number 6 and the pin number 8 at the pin number 7 the discharge capacitor is connected while the pin number 8 is connected to the supply initially when the output at pin number 3 is low that is the circuit is in stable state the transistor is on and the capacitor c is shorted to the ground so when the negative pulse is applied to the pin number 2 a trigger input falls below plus 1 by 3 vcc and the output of the comparator goes high which reset the flip flop and the consequently the transistor turns off and the output at pin number 3 will go high now this is a transition of output from the stable state to the quasi stable state as shown in the figure as the discharge transistor is cut off the capacitor c will begin to charging towards the plus vcc through the resistance ra with a time constant which is equivalent to ra into c so when increasing the capacitor voltage will become slightly greater than 2 by 3 vcc the output of the comparator one will go high this will set the flip flop the transistor goes into the saturation and thereby discharging the capacitor c and the output of the timer goes low as illustrated in the figure thus the output return back to the stable state from the quasi stable state the output of the mono stable multi vibrator remains low until a trigger pulse is applied again to the terminal and then the cycle will repeat the capacitor c has to charge through the resistor ra the larger the time constant ra into c the longer it will take to charge the capacitor to reach the voltage up to the 2 by 3 vcc the rc time constant controls the width of the output pulse the time during which the timer output will remain high is given by tp is equal to 1.1 ra into c now let us simulate the circuit in the ltspice software in order to simulate first let, let us create a schematic so go to the component so here we will one we have to search the ic so the ic name is ne 555 so you can see that the symbol and the name of the ic click okay press escape for the deselection now in order to complete the circuit first we will add the voltage so let us add the voltage source so first we will add the voltage source here we will connect the ground so we will add the label type of the port select output give the name as vcc click okay and connect here so copy this label so here is a copy option copy this label now what we have to do we have to connect this reset to the vcc so we will connect that to the vcc next uh, the vcc here we have to connect here then connect the ground we will connect the ground here let us add the one capacitor so to connect the capacitor using the wire 
and connect the ground so what is the value of this capacitor the value of this capacitor as mentioned previously it is 0.01 microfarad now what we have to do we the trigger pulse here we have to apply the trigger pulse and here you have to take the output and as per the discussion the discharge and the threshold pins are uh, connected together and where they are connected they are connected to the resistor and capacitor junction so let us add one resistor and capacitor here and connect the ground connect this capacitor terminal to the node now where this uh, another terminal of the resistor will go it will go to the vcc so copy this symbol of the vcc and connect it here so what is the value of the resistor you can give the value as per your design consideration let us give it as a 4.7k and the capacitor value let us give it as a 2.2 microfarad so now that we have to apply the trigger pulse here so what we will need we will need the another voltage source click on this voltage source connect the ground now we will add another label so uh, click on the label here and uh, select it as output we will give the name as trigger and click ok and connect the trigger here so where the trigger we have to connect this terminal has to be connected here so copy this symbol of trigger and just connect it here and here we have to observe the output so go to the option of this resistor click here and connect it to by the wire to the output terminal and finally we will connect the ground let us give the value to the resistor as a 10k so what will be the value of the source right click over that go to the advance so what we have to apply we have to apply the pulse signal so the pulse signal with the initial value of say 5 then v on we will give it as 0 time delay give it as 1 millisecond t rise we will not give that uh, t on let us give it as a 1 millisecond t on pulse period let us give the period as 1 second and cycle I will give the cycle as 0 click OK now go to the option simulate click edit simulation command here give the stop time as 100 millisecond and click OK voltage value let us give the value as a 5 volt ok now if anything any value is remaining to give it will show you the error so go to the simulate option click run so as there is a, there are no errors all values are given and all terminals are connected successfully so first we will observe the input so this is the input that trigger pulse we have given initially it is at the 5 volt then we have given a negative trigger pulse of short wave uh, sh of the short time period and then it will be again high so what is the effect we will observe that so this is the voltage across the uh, capacitor so you can see the voltage across the capacitor and this is the output so as you can see that the output when the trigger pulse is given the output will go high for the particular duration which is uh, designed by the whose time is calculated by the resistor value and the capacitor value so it is of 1.1 uh, R into uh, C2 so what will it will be it is 11 theoretically the pulse duration will be of 11 millisecond approximately so if you let us see whether we will get we have got that or not click over this output and move your that dotted line here so this will be the start it is approximately 1 millisecond and if you at the end what is the value it is 12 millisecond so the pulse which is generated is of the 11 millisecond and but theoretically it will come near to the 11 millisecond so in this way we have 
simulated the monostable multi vibrator using the IC triple phi in LTSPY software. These are the references of the session. Thank you.